All right, welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about my Jeep Wrangler here, 2008 Jeep JK U or Unlimited. Basically what I had a situation going on where I had uh, stopping at red lights, like extended red lights or just stopping in a parking lot, drive through, any of that kind of stuff, I noticed the Jeep would start to get hot. What I mean by that is uh, temperature gauge would start rising from its normal position, which is right there. It would rise from that center line all the way up to the three quarter, if not a little bit further out. So about a year ago, I replaced the water pump on it. Never really had an issue. Occasionally on like a hundred degree day, it might get a little warm sitting in traffic to be expected because of the hot concrete and other cars with their exhaust and heat coming off of their vehicles. But uh, so I got into it, started troubleshooting a little bit. Obviously I'm not leaking anything um, other than a small little oil spot over there where I've refilled some stuff but uh, nothing leaking from the water pump. Um, obviously my fan's been kicking on and running just fine. It's putting out proper amount of thrust so it can pull that air through the radiator. So what was next? Uh, did a little bit of research and found that what I needed to do was put the Jeep on an elevated incline. So it doesn't look like much here, but it's uh, the back tires are just a little bit lower than the front tires, which pitched the nose of the Jeep up which allowed what I assumed was the air in the system for the coolant to all kind of come up more towards the radiator top portion since that's the highest point on the system. I didn't want it settling in the hose. I didn't want it settling in the top of the engine or something like that. And I wanted the top of the Jeep to be elevated so that all that air could get up to the top. So what I did was when I made sure the Jeep was at a cool temperature, now it's a 96 degree day right now in the shade. So made sure it was at a cool temperature and I took the radiator cap off and sure enough tons of air in there even though my reservoir as you can see it's just shy of max right there so filled it up it actually took another three quarter of a gallon of antifreeze in it um, and what I did was I started the Jeep started pouring it in slowly letting all those air bubbles work out now the Jeep's been sitting here over 20 minutes to reiterate 96 degrees outside in the shade and you can see my heat gauge hasn't moved an inch. Now I did rev it a couple times just to ensure that there was enough fluid being circulated. You can see my fans kicked on now. So now it's been running 20 minutes or so and I don't have that issue of overheating at a stop or extended idle. So if your Jeep seems to be overheating at an extended idle and it gets better as soon as you start moving or start rolling forward or cruising down the road, this could be your issue. Could just be air in the line and how to get it out is just to simply pitch the nose up, pour in your antifreeze, wait, let the thermostat do its job, let the fan start cooling it, and just ensure that it's topped off when it starts to slightly bubble up to the surface of that fill spout and pour over, that's when you will need to stop, put your top back on. I will do this again, so I'll drive it down the road, let it cool off, and resume the process over again just to ensure I got all that air out of that system but uh, when it's going you can feel there's a little bit of slack in this right now which isn't necessarily a bad thing but uh, one or two times of doing this you should be able to get most if not all the air out of your system without having to go to a mechanic shop so very simple solution if your Jeep is overheating at idle and uh, gets better while you're moving this could be your solution I'm not gonna say that it 100% is but it could be your solution that you have air in your line especially if you've done work to the coolant system so thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and hopefully I'll help fix some other issues out there for you guys. All right, take care.